Hello Gravy Timmy and welcome back to another epic Hearts of Iron 4 video where today we're doing absolute sacrilegious stuff. Uh, today we are checking out La Vittoria e Nostra, which if you don't know is a Italy rework focus tree extravaganza. I know, how dare they mess with perfection. How dare you stand where he stood. Look at the Italian focus tree right here, it's so Beautiful. So, as you know, the Italian tree in Hearts of Iron 4 is a massive meme for the fact it hasn't been updated since the game came out. Which honestly has transcended being bad and has in fact became perfection. You guys just don't understand art like an Italian does. So this mod, LVN for abbreviations, is apparently pretty good. I haven't even looked at it. I thought I'd leave the surprise for everyone to enjoy. Oh my god, they said the mod name in the mod. All right, moment of true. <laughs> How dare you, what have you done? All right, this is a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. Uh, now I'm assuming a lot of them are branching paths and locked off paths, so uh, yeah. Well, a lot of it we won't be doing, but uh, I guess today we will be sticking historical. I mean, just look at this whole path here just to end Mussolini. It is, it is pretty intense. Actually, maybe I won't go historical. Uh, whilst I won't get rid of the bald slaphead man himself, I think what we will do is go down Italy first because the Germans do be smelling of sausage. All right, so there are a few other things that are different, including our spirits here. Some of them, not that great. And of course, we are committing war crimes against the Ethiopians. Oh, we actually also start with some black shirts, which um, are exactly the same as infantry, but they have less organization and more suppression. So yeah, probably not that handy. Ah yes, the L3 or L35 tank or Mario Kart accessory. Oh damn. <laughs> Look at this guy! I have found the cool guy shades emoji in Hoi 4. Alright, so we also have a... Oh my god, we have a lot going on in decisions right now. Alright, so we're gonna have to placate the king quite a bit, otherwise I get the feeling we may be deposed. And one way we can do that is to take care of Abyssinia, aka Ethiopia, Speedy Weedy made fun of my little Mario Kart tank, but look, it's doing exceptionally well in the mountains. So there we go. Dealt with very quickly. But I won't lie, the only real way I know how to play Italy is to do the major uh, normal vanilla cheese where you just end up conquering the majority of the world in like two seconds. So uh, this could be interesting. So before I go down anything uh, geopolitical, I'm trying to fix our industry, which um, is a little broken. And we have to <laughs> have a lot of stuff ready before we can go to war. <laughs> Sorry, Germany, but schmell you later. All right, we're gonna do it the true Italian way. We could do a Mediterranean Entente, which will take us uh, pretty much from what I can tell, both of these paths are pretty good and giving you exactly what the others do. The only difference is we won't be able to do befriend Turkey over here. So I can either pick to be friends with Turkey or Austria pretty much here. And uh, I'm going to pick Austria because I really want to rub it in your face. So the Axis of Rome has been formed, a new counterweight to German and, uh, well, imperialist expansion. So we've got ourselves Hungary and Austria. And Italy, <laughs> the ultimate team. <laughs> All right, finally, Mussolini, I brought you good news. I've done enough industry stuff. We can get rid of all of our terrible industry debuffs and actually get a research slot. Are you happy? You'll never be happy. That happened so quickly, but yeah, just gobbled up Albania. Not too sure I was supposed to make the uh, old trains run on time if we... um don't have them. Okay, first war, it will be against Greece. And historically, didn't go too well. Uh, but hopefully I have more competence than <laughs> the actual Italians did. After all, I am a Hoi4 gamer. And uh, I was hoping Romania would have joined, but they did not 
join, but uh, that is fine. We will have to deal with them later then. They've effectively been completely broken already. And the best part is I already had my collaboration government because I own roads, so I can just give these guys all the land and uh, I don't have to worry about it. There we go. Just hand it all over to Italian Greece and look at that. Nice and green. Next up, we're dealing with Yugoslavia or Yugoslavia. Annoy! As in, I'm going to annoy you to give me your land. Ooh, I guess the uh, old Conference of Paris didn't go too well. Now, the Austrians do have claims, but I think what we're going to do is just uh, take it all ourselves. There we go. Looking very, very green. Now, we did have another focus tree for Romania, but I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to get them. We do get a event, or the UK does, called the Conference of Rome, and we'll see if that gets rid of their guarantees but if not, uh, might have to wait for Romania. Well, it looks like something did happen. Uh, Hungary got that land. I lost my war goal, so I guess we don't get Romania. But uh, I'm fine with that, I suppose. Or am I? I mean, they are called Romania. You know, Rome. Romania? Eh, uh, well, I, I guess there's room for some more. Well, there you go, so we made Hungary bigger, and we've also got Romania too now. Uh, they haven't given up Bessarabia yet, though, so if you could hurry up and do that before, uh, someone comes a-knocking. So yeah, we're not doing too bad, really. 1939, I'm assuming the Germans are not going to start World War II, considering I think they did the deal with Poland. So yeah, not too sure how this is really gonna go, but uh, we will find out, I suppose. And Bulgaria has seen sense and decided to join my cool little faction. Uh, uh quote-unquote cool faction. There we go, finally managed to get our preparations for war done, but um, I feel like we've been ready for a while. Well, I guess we are Italian. It could go wrong at any moment. Well, Poland joined the Allies, which means jump the the Pact of Blood. <laughs> uh, yeah, still can't really see what Germany's doing, but, uh, there's still quite a few trips on the border, so maybe they want Austria. Might, maybe just, maybe they want that. Sadly, we can't sit around doing nothing all day, waiting for the Germans to make their mind up if they want to play the game, but, uh, we are gonna have to take things into our own hands, and we will, by demanding land off the French. Uh, I don't think they'll say yes, but you really never know, do you? Oh, okay. I don't have much faith in the, uh, French there, considering they are starving to death in the mountains. And they are now also at war with the common turn because somebody guaranteed Lithuania. Well, uh, <laughs> Germany saw an opportunity and also declared war on the Soviets. <laughs> oh, France said no, so, uh, yeah, I guess we're all going to war with the Allies. Well, no time better than now, I suppose. My, it's what the kids do be calling a Morbius sweep. Right, a bit annoying, but the Germans did declare war on the Allies also, which <laughs> means I'm missing a chunk of France. All right, now I want to declare war on Franco down here so I can rush down to Gibraltar without naval invading, but I'm kind of worried they might join the Axis, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Thank God Romania just gave up Bessarab because that was about to get a... <laughs> We were about to get very complicated in this war. I haven't bothered with the colonies, and I don't think I really will. Uh, just because it, it's probably going to get a bit too messy to go <laughs> invading all of the UK, really. So, America is in the war already, so I don't know what we're going to do with that. But uh, I think I may have a secret weapon to deal with them. El Salvador. All right. Please... Just don't ruin me. Thank God they joined the Allies. That is fine. And there we go. What is that? I think I just caught one hell of a catch there. There we go. We've kicked the Allies out of North Africa. And what did it cost? Well, um... Uh, we'll get that back. Here you go. Now it's only mildly embarrassing from incredibly embarrassing. There you go. Now you can all stop talking about the time I lost Sardinia, okay? And I guess finally we're gonna deal with Egypt too. <laughs> there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Now with the fall of the Suez, that means that any allied boats left in the Mediterranean will be staying in the Mediterranean. There we go. Now I'm just hopping to take any of their last bastions in the Mediterranean to make 
make this a little easy. Noish! And I'm just taking care of any fleets that are left in the Mediterranean, and uh, there's actually quite a few. So yeah, not gonna bother going any further than this. Uh, don't really feel like dying of attrition down in Africa. And there you go, that is the last of the allies in the Mediterranean. It is now mine. And uh, now that I don't have to worry about anything here, we need to deal with a bit of a problem, don't we? Alright, before I do the landing, I want to win the air war, and as you can see, numbers really do be numbering. I mean, we are outproducing them, so yeah, we should uh, well and truly win this. <laughs> it just might take a little while. You know, you, you'd think you'd just stop telling me that we've got an ace pilot already. I get it. <laughs> stop tormenting me. There you go. Now we've pretty much destroyed all their good planes and I've only got my amazing planes left. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're trading pretty well. All right, if everyone in my damn air force is an ace pilot, do you really have to tell me every five seconds? All right, it's time. All I really need is one landing, because as soon as I have that, I can just switch my air force over to the UK and cast the hell out of it. Oh, and I also have my little tanks ready to go as well. Yeah, pretty messy, but it's working. There you go, secured enough, and we have the supply, so we're gonna go in and take them out. Oh, they never stood a chance. My superior bald head, which I am definitely not ashamed of, and wearing this helmet to cover, gives me so much power. I was just wondering how I was going to deal with America, and I think I've just found my answer. Okay, so now we have both the Dominican Republic and the Venezuelans on our side. Hopefully we can do a little meme here. We managed to capture Jamaica. By the way, you don't actually have to call these guys into the war to be able to naval invade from their provinces, which is a little meme -y, but you know what? We're really! Now, invading America late game is never fun, so let's just hope we can do something here. Cured the landing, but there's not really much in the way stopping us right now. I'm assuming as we go further in here, we're gonna run into some resistance. Oh god, <laughs> American railway gun, wasn't expecting that one. Watch out for the USS blow your shit up! And whilst I wait for airports to build in America, uh, let's take a look at the Eastern Front. It's been like this for two years. I don't think it's gonna get any further than this. Yeah, always fun, I forget the American AI just always naval invades behind you. That, that wasn't very worth it, was it, America? With that dealt with, why don't I go ahead and beat you up some more? God, no, can you believe it? The Americans are justifying on me. Just not learning your lesson, are you, America? That's right, the real Italians are here now, and they've seen what you've been doing with pizza. Oh, taken Washington too, and... And uh, it's still a little bit difficult to push. I've made a quality army, not a quantity army, and there is a lot of land and a lot of fronts here. Oh, that took forever! <sighs> Peace! Look at that. The world's now... really green. <laughs> you know what? You can take it. There you go. I'm, I'm doing my part to stop the German menace. But still, not even done. Why does Turkey own Estonia? Oh! Don't need him anymore then, do I? Oh, okay. Not really green anymore, I'm turkey colored. Just uh, realized Belgium still exists, so I'm uh, gonna deal with that one very quickly. Ah, uh, you thought you'd escape the cringe, but here it comes. Oh, I, I guess we're inviting uh, <laughs> all my new American friends to the uh, Roman <laughs> Union too. We <laughs> got the El Salvadorians, Venezuelans, Dominicans. You guys are all honorary Romans. Ah, uh, here it comes. The ultimate cringe. <sighs> it might be cringe, but at least we are a better like color on the map now. Okay, now there is some more stuff we could really do, but uh, it is 1946. I've been at it for a while now, and uh, I think this is good enough. So yeah, this worked pretty well actually. It was very good uh, little Italian mod, and uh, I only went the one path, which was the um. The cringe path. Uh, but th if you do want to go ahead and give it a go, there are like other paths you can do, especially the uh, ending Bussolini himself and replacing him with someone else, I imagine. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, hit subscribe button down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.